Hello everyone. Let's take a look at a popular text generation UI, Ooga Booga, and get it up and running on our Apple Silicon Max. As you know, there's new open source models coming out every other day. And while there's tons of tools to run these models locally uh, using different transformers, I found that TextGen UI does a lot of the work for you with tons of customizations and features. Out of the box, Ooga Booga TextGen UI provides a one-click install scripts for all of the platforms. But for me personally, I had some issues with it. So why don't we take a look at installing it manually? You'll end up with the same thing essentially. But if you have trouble with the auto install script, follow along with the manual steps. So let's start by moving over to the terminal. Go ahead and clone the repo. Once we're in here, before we install any Python dependencies, let's set up Conda using Python 3.10.9. And now let's activate the environment by the, the name TextGen. So I think this is where it becomes a little bit tricky. So as you can see, if I grab for requirements.txt for the dependencies, you'll see various versions here. So the ones that we're interested in would be the, the Apple Silicon one, as well as the, the No Wheels one. For the most part, you'll be okay installing the silicon one. This will install every single dependency and you won't have to do anything. But if you come across some issues, you can follow along and install the no wheels version with me. For everybody else, first try pip installing the silicon one. And if you have no issues, I'll put a timestamp where you can jump to and follow along after. All right, so let's copy this and then I'm gonna pip install. Okay, looks good. Now let's install torch related dependencies. Okay, looks great as well. The next dependency we have to install is the Llama CPP Python. And if you can scroll down here, you'll see various options depending on your hardware. And for us, we're gonna take a look at the, the one for metal acceleration. So let's copy this, go back to our terminal. Okay, that should be everything in terms of dependencies. Before we start the UI, there is a flag that we can set regarding how many CPU threads we want to use. I have this snippet that will show us how many threads are available in our system. So the number that we're looking for is this one, CPU count. So here's the command to run the web UI. And let's tack on the flag that we just got. You might see some of these warnings, you may not. It just depends on the kind of hardware that you guys have. But regardless, this is okay. And you'll see right here, running on local URL. So give this URL a copy and put it in your browser. But keep in mind also at the same time, you need to keep this process running as this is what's actually running the web UI. And also it'll print the logs here as well, if there's any exceptions. So anyways, yeah, let's go to the browser and uh, take a look. Right off the bat, it'll put you in the chat tab, but we first need to go to the model tab and set things up. If you take a look at the models dropdown, we won't have anything. And on the right here, this is where we can actually download some models. And I think this is where the TextGen UI really shines as it makes it really easy to download models from Hugging Face. And for sure, you gotta find the right model for the transformer that you're gonna be using for your system. As you can see, there's tons of them here. Um, for most of us using Max, we'll probably end up using Llama CPP. So I'm gonna go find some GGUF models on Hugging Face and we'll download them. So I'm looking at the Mistral 7B Open Orca uh, quantized by the bloke, of course, uh, the GGUF format. So what you want to do is on the model card page, simply copy the URL 
and back in the UI, paste the Hugging Face model card URL here. And back on the Hugging Face page, if we go to the Files and Versions tab here, you can actually pick the, the specific model quantized version that you want. So for my system, this is the, the best one. So I'll give that a copy. Let's paste that in right under the, the URL where it says file name for GGUF models. And we can hit download. So I'll give that a second. All right, it finished downloading. Before we actually move forward, let me show you guys where these models are downloaded to. As you can see back in the terminal, you'll see some of the, the outputs and logs generated by the UI. But if we actually look in the repo again, there is a folder called models. And as you can see, this is where the, the model actually got downloaded to. So if you want to save some space after, remove some models, just go into the models folder and you'll see all of your GGUF files as one single file. Let's go back to the UI. For the model to be visible, we have to give the UI a refresh here for the models. And you'll see now for the drop down, it'll show up. Okay, after that, you just hit load here. Okay, now the model's loaded. Right off the bat, notice how a lot of the model parameters are already filled in from the GGUF model itself. So that's really useful, and you can feel free to, of course, change them as you need. To the right of that, there's some flags that we can toggle. And for the first few here, it says it'll actually speed up the generation by 10 to 20%. So if you end up seeing slow inference speeds, Perhaps toggle these on and see if it makes a difference for you. Lastly, also take a look at the parameters tab where you can change the max new token size and also the temperature. And of course, feel free to adjust any other parameters here as you see fit. But now I feel like we're ready to actually use the models. So let's go visit the, the chat tab. From my testing, the initial prompt takes a little bit longer, but once the generation of the token starts, it's fairly fast. So I have a small prompt here just to see the, the token generation speeds, and I'll leave this as uh, real time. So I'm on a 16 gigabyte memory M1 Mac, and I feel like that was fairly fast and very usable on a local machine. We can ask for another one. So guys, that's about it. Please give this a try. Try downloading some models, start playing with it. Hope this was useful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.